Hi everyone and welcome to Phantom Buster. My name is Jennifer and today I'm going to show you how to set up the AI LinkedIn message writer. This phantom will allow you to generate a highly customized connection message based on the profile information you provide the phantom. This phantom uses AI credits. You can find out how many AI credits are included in your plan by going to our billing page. So for a starter plan, there are 10,000 AI credits per month, while for a team plan, there are 90,000 credits per month. So let's get started. I'm going to use this phantom. And here we are in the phantom setup. So the first thing that you need to do is tell the phantom where it will get its data from. There are three options. You can select one of your LinkedIn leads list. These lists are available from the LinkedIn leads tab in your Phantom Buster account. A URL of a Google Sheet or a CSV file. You'll just need to make sure that the links are publicly accessible. Or you can select the results file of a Phantom you've already launched. This Phantom works best when you provide it with a rich amount of data. In most cases, using the data from the LinkedIn profile scraper will produce the best results. So I'm going to select one of my lists that I've already prepared. This list has been created using the LinkedIn search export and the LinkedIn profile scraper. These phantoms have gathered a lot of information about the profiles the phantom will use to customize the connection messages. In the next step, we need to select the GPT model that the phantom will use. There are two options here, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. GPT-4 is the most advanced model with higher capabilities, which also means that it will use up more of your AI credits. GPT-4 is approximately 30 times more expensive than GPT-3.5, so if budget and resources are a constraint, we recommend using GPT-3.5. After you launch the Phantom, you'll be able to see how many AI credits were used for each response. We recommend running a test on your leads to get a better estimate of the costs. Keep in mind that the longer the prompt is, the more extensive the response will be, and therefore the more credits will be used per response. The next step is to select your prompt template or create a custom prompt. When you select one of our pre-made templates, you'll see the prompt in the field below here. This field is editable, so you can customize the prompt to your liking or keep it as is. Alternatively, you can create a custom prompt we recommend referring to OpenAI's best, practice, best practices for prompt engineering uh, or using the Phantom community to exchange ideas, tips and tricks. So I'm going to go ahead and select connect with anyone, this template here. You just need to go through the prompt and edit any areas where it requires your input. So in this case, my name is Jennifer and I work as a product designer at Phantom Buster. There we go. Um, so just double check that you've edited all of the areas which need to be, which need to have your information. So we need to select what profile information you would like GPT to use in order to generate the personalized message. You can use all of the available LinkedIn leads data or you can specify which fields for the phantom to use. The more checkboxes you select, the more credits will be used. So for now, I'm going to just use all LinkedIn leads data. There are some advanced settings related to the name and the structure of your files, but for now, we'll leave this as is. In the behavior step, we need to tell the phantom how many leads to generate messages for. So the first option is recommended for testing. It will run the prompt on the first 10 leads of your list. It's worth noting that each time you launch the Phantom, the previous results will be overwritten. The second option tells the Phantom to generate messages for all the leads you provided as input in the first step. And the third option allows you to set an, a custom number of leads you would like the Phantom to generate messages for. So for now, I'm going to run the prompt on the first 10 leads because I want to conduct this as a test. In the final step, you'll find options for notifications and launch setting settings. 
You can choose to have notifications about what the Phantom is doing during the launches. The launch settings determine how often you want the Phantom to run. I'll highlight a couple of options here. Selecting repeatedly will allow you to choose from a bunch of automatic launch options. This can be helpful if you've selected an input where the list of leads continues to grow. For example, a spreadsheet that will continue to have leads added to it. That way, this Phantom can automatically generate personalized messages uh, for the new leads which have been added. You can also launch this Phantom after another Phantom has finished. All you have to do is select which Phantom. But for now, let's stick to manually. So I will go ahead and launch this Phantom. It will take some time for the Phantom to process your leads information to generate the personalized messages. The time it takes will depend on how many leads you provide the Phantom with and how complex the prompt is. You'll be able to see a short preview of the message generated in the results tab below, as well as the AI credits that were consumed per lead. So if I scroll down the page in the first column, I have a short preview of what the AI message is. And in the second column, I've got the amount of credits that were consumed per lead. You can also view the full message that the Phantom generated in your leads list as well. So once again, I have the name of the person or the lead, as well as the message that was generated by the Phantom. So we now have our auto generated personalized messages. So let's have a look at how we can use this message. So I'm going to go over to the LinkedIn auto connect Phantom and I'll quickly set up uh, this Phantom. So here we need to tell the Phantom which list or URL or Phantom to use as input. In this case, I'm going to use the same list that I used to generate the messages. So Phantom Buster in this case. And we'll have to connect to LinkedIn. So I'm just going to connect by the extension. And here in your message field, uh, we can go down to the placeholder tags here and actually select the AI message that was generated here. So I'm going to select that and it places it inside the your message field. And from here, I won't set up the entire phantom, but it will allow you to use the auto generated personalized message as an invitation message when you go to auto connect with uh, your lead from that list. And there you have it, that's the LinkedIn AI message writer.